What's going on everybody? Adam with the E-Trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Back Road 4. This is going to be a hanging style bike rack, getting four bikes to and from your destination. And this is really just going to be a mid-tier bike rack from a really good brand. So I think it's going to do a great job for you guys who just want to throw all your bikes on there just to get four to and from your destination. As you guys can see here, we have a great assortment of different types of bikes. It kind of mimics maybe what a family may be bringing to wherever they may be going. We have our road bike here for dad. We got a mountain bike here for mom. And we got a kid's bike for both of the kids, both the daughter and the son. As you can see, most of them fit on here flawlessly without having to grab an adapter bar. But on the smaller ones, just be mindful that sometimes we do have to put an adapter bar on there. There are all on here, but trust me, it wasn't necessarily the easiest thing to get them on here. So just want to let you guys know there is a way to kind of get it all together, but this is definitely going to be a little bit more difficult to load up than some of those platform style racks. So let's start off with a couple of features. We're going to start from the front here. First of all, it's Yakima. So we got a bottle opener, so that's pretty cool. But then on the other end of it, we actually going to get a really neat hidden bike cable. So pretty much what this is going to do is go around the frame of your furthest most bike towards the front. And then obviously it's going to click onto that little post there. And we will get two keys with our kit just in case you lose one or you want to keep one, I don't know, on your keys of your vehicle and then maybe one stored somewhere else. We're going to have two. So that's awesome. And just like that, unlock the bike, put that in there stows away really nicely. It's something I like, especially when bike racks come with locks, so you don't gotta buy more. It's a pretty much one-stop shop with this one. And then looking at the cradles, one thing I really do like about these is just the fact when we, maybe we're riding solo or we already took the other bikes off, we can actually condense these down quite a bit, which is fantastic, because this way it's just gonna be a lot easier to get the bikes off the rack without them you know, bobbling into the frame. So with our cradles here, we do have an extremely soft rubber piece on here. So it is going to be great for your bikes that have those nice frames, whether it's just brand new or you have a nice paint job on it. It's definitely soft enough where it's not really going to damage anything or scratch it, anything like that. Also with the zip clips, we're also going to have a nice padded section on there as well. So the whole entire frame is not going to be touching anything hard or abrasive. So you don't have to worry about any of that. And another thing that's nice about it is whenever we're taking these bikes off and they are maybe farther up here, whether you're just riding so low or you already taken off the three bikes in front of it, these actually fold down extremely well compared to some of the competitors. A lot of them are a little taller and also they still stick out a little wide. So you kind of have to oscillate from side to side to kind of get the bike off with this, honestly. It condenses down really easily. So even for your smaller framed bikes, it's gonna be extremely easy compared to some of the others. As you guys saw before, we had a lot of different bikes on this bike rack and it's gonna help accommodate for those different size and shaped bikes. So as you can see here, these cradles are gonna rotate like that just to you know help you guys out with whatever size bike or shape bike that you guys have. I know some of them are a lot different than others, but I think you won't have any issues moving these around to get it to fit right. Also, we are going to have about seven inches of spread, which is quite a bit. Some of them are a little bit closer and it's kind of hard to get four bikes on here. I'm not saying it was easy to get four bikes on here, but you're going to see that when you try to get four bikes on any type of hanging style bike rack. So one thing that differentiates this bike rack from some of the other hanging styles is the way it straps down. These are some zip strips. You just hold these two tabs a lot easier than some of those rubber ones that you really got to put a lot of tension on. So if you really don't want to use a whole lot of arm strength to get these things fastened it down, you just got to pretty much push those down, done deal. But one thing I think of when everything, when anything on a bike rack is removable is losing it. So you can either put it wherever or just put it inside your back hatch because then you will at least know where to find them and not lose them. But you can also just, you know, put them back in there whenever you're done. It's your call. 
Well, one thing to note, depending on what kind of bike that you have, the anti-sway cradle is a little more difficult to get off. As you can see down here, even with the road bike, we really don't have a whole lot of tire blocking us, but if we did have some sort of mountain bike, it's gonna have a little bit more beef on that wheel. So it might be a little bit more difficult to get this thing undone. But I definitely think it's gonna be easier overall, especially the two top ones. And again, it's gonna get it secured down pretty nicely. So now we can go ahead and just take the bike off the rack. Pretty easy to get it off. I didn't really have any contact with the bike when I was taking it off. And whenever all your bikes are done, some people just go ahead and replace the zip strips where they were, just like that. But what I'm gonna do, I'm actually just gonna pull this lever here, just to kind of bring these down, just like that, to put it down. And there's gonna be another knob we're gonna pull up on down here. That's gonna access that tilt feature. And then open up the back hatch. You can just throw them in there just so we don't lose them. And you know where they are. So we do have a anti-rattle bolt that comes with the kit and it does come with a little pin but we are going to have the option to purchase separately a little locking core on the end of the provided anti-rattle bolt and we do actually have some tools that come with the kit but I highly suggest not using these just because they got a lot of threads on it so all you got to really do is just get a three quarter inch socket and a wrench and we have those here if you don't already have one and that's just going to make it a lot easier on you guys. Also, as you can see here, this is a two inch hitch receiver, but as you can see, the shank of the bike rack is not a two inch. There's a sleeve on the inside there that can be removed. So you can either put it on a two inch hitch or an inch and a quarter. All in all, I'm gonna give you guys my opinion about it. It's gonna get the job done. It's gonna be a great way to get all your family's bikes on a great branded bike rack. It's definitely gonna be mid tier, but it definitely has a lot of those features that I would look for in a bike rack. One, we do have a cable for our bikes to lock them on, which not a lot of them come with them, and some of them that come with, they're separate. So you gotta find a place to store it. This one, they provide the place to store it. It's just in this little rod here, which is nice. Something that I would probably compare this to is the Hitching Post Pro. It does not have a lock. Also with these cradles, it's just a lot more maneuverability, a lot more padding, in my opinion. And even if you're just having one or two bikes on here, they really do clamp down pretty tightly to where it's gonna be a little bit easier to get those bikes off the rack. Again, comparing it to the Hitching Post Pro, there's no pins or anything, neither for the fold down or the tilt away feature, which I think is a plus. But at the end of the day, we want to show you guys, we're actually going to go do a showdown between the mid-level Yakima back road and also the Hitching Post Pro. So let's go. We have John, we have Aiden, and we got two different bike racks. We have the Thule Hitching Post Pro, and then we have the Yakima back road 4. So pretty similar, but we're going to do a test to see how quick we can load up the bike. They're going to take the bike off, hand it to me, and then they're gonna use the tilt-away feature to grab the tool out of the back of the vehicle. They're gonna take that anti-rattle bolt out, and then they're gonna hand me the bike rack. So, whoever gets to me first wins. So let's get to it. I'm gonna give you guys a go in three, two, one. Hit it. I really don't know how this is gonna play out, honestly. They're pretty even. All right, he's got a little pin he's got to work with with the Thule Hitching Post Pro, so that took a little bit longer. But John is already on his way, but he's got all these zip clips in there, and it's kind of giving him a little bit of trouble. John does have a little bit smaller gap in the bike that we provided him. But as of right now, we're getting close. So they're both strapping them down. Okay, doing pretty good. I would honestly say John's in the lead with the Yakima. All 
All righty, bike's on. John's ahead. Oh, Aiden's ahead. Okay. With the Yakima. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. He's actually cooking. He is cooking. He is cooking. Give me these. Give me these. All right. Aiden's doing work. There you go. There we go. All right, tool in hand. Tool in hand. John's winning with the Yakima. See what Aiden's up to. Tool in hand. Well, this is going to be the deciding factor, folks. The Thule Hitching Ropes Pro has a little bit shorter anti rattle bolt than the Yakima does. So we'll see how this plays out. Aiden's really ratcheting in that thing. Oh, he's got it loose. I'll put this down. This is exciting. And the winner. Very close second though. Aiden, you're a good sport. John, congratulations. So, hopefully this kinda gives you an idea of how you're gonna live with these things. Well, that was fun. This is the winner, just by a hair though. Honestly, it was a pretty even race the whole entire time. But one thing I kinda thought of is the anti-rattle bolt on the Yakima is Got a lot more threads on it. So that was one thing that was a little bit different between the two, but again, this is still the winner. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do, is we're gonna go scene in action. We're gonna put some bikes on here, take this around our test course footage outside. We got a bunch of bumps. We got a bunch of turns and stuff we're gonna do just to see what it's gonna look like when we are doing those maneuvers. So let's get to it. Well, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully we went over all the specs you guys wanted and showed you guys a couple of different tests to give you guys a visual representation of what these are going to be able to do, how you're gonna live with them, and of course, see if it's something that you're actually gonna be interested in. Other than that, it's pretty much all there really is to know about the Yakima Backroad 4 hanging style bike rack.